Like you, I have a very personal story with antibiotic resistance. I I was born with these um, birth defects, uh, congenital malformations in my skeletal system. My dad was drafted to Vietnam, got exposed to a ton of Agent Orange while he was there. And I was born with this constellation of like bone deformities, missing bones. And so when I was three years old, the doctors, you know, recommended that the best path forward for me to be able to eventually walk would be to amputate my leg. So they, um, at the time I was missing bones in that leg and I would have faced chronic breaks of my foot. My femur was short. There were all sorts of problems. So their idea is with a prosthetic, I would be able to walk. Problem is, as can still happen, is after the surgery, I developed what's known as a nosocomial infection or a hospital-acquired infection. I got infection into the bone. I had staph in the bone. I had gangrene. Lots of things you don't want to see in your three-year-old, right? Um, And so that, you know, Fortunately, they were able to treat this infection. It was still a drug-sensitive stream. And so ever since then, as I grew older, I really got interested in science and decided, you know, if I'm going to tackle something, why not go after what tried to kill me?